If you're as excited about foldable smartphones as we are, you're in for a treat today. Last month, we exclusively revealed that Samsung is set to launch its next foldable smartphones, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Flip 6 on July 10, 2024. But that's not all. We've got more juicy details to share. Let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about the powerhouse driving these new devices. We confirmed that the Galaxy Z Flip 6 will be equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. And now we have exciting news about the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The carrier lock variant of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 model number SMF956U has just appeared on Geekbench, confirming that it too will feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. The Geekbench listing also reveals that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and will run Android 14, likely paired with Samsung's One UI 6.11. This device achieved a score of 1,964 points in the single core test and an impressive 6,619 points in the multi core test. For comparison, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which features the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, scored 1,943 points in the single core test and 5,123 points in the multi-core test. So what does this mean? The Galaxy Z Fold 6 offers a marginal improvement in single core performance, but a significant boost in multi-core performance. This means you can expect the Galaxy Z Fold 6 to perform much faster in CPU intensive tasks, which is great news for power users and multitaskers. Here's a quick comparison of the scores, as you can see, the multi-core performance is where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 really shines. This leap in performance is going to make a noticeable difference in everyday use, especially for demanding apps and games. Now, a lot of you have been asking if there will be a variant with more RAM. We hope that Samsung will release a version of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which would definitely please many users looking for that extra edge in performance. With the launch now less than two months away, we can expect the frequency of leaks to increase, providing more information about the Galaxy Z Fold 6. One area where Samsung has faced some criticism in the past is the camera setup on their foldables. Historically, they've used slightly above average cameras on devices priced around $2,000. But with more competitors entering the market, this approach is no longer acceptable. The well-known leaker Ice Universe previously claimed that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 would have the same camera setup as the Fold 5. That includes a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide module, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto camera, a 4 megapixel under display camera, and a 10 megapixel cover camera. However, there's still hope for an upgrade. Another tipster has suggested that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 might feature improved cameras. While megapixel counts might remain similar to the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Galaxy S24, the quality and capabilities of these sensors could be significantly enhanced. Tipster at Crow Row recently tweeted that the Fold 6 will have a better camera array than the Galaxy S24. Unfortunately, they can provide any specifics and since at Crow Row doesn't have much of a track record, it's best to take this with a grain of salt. But if true, this could mean Samsung is finally update on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. What are your thoughts on Samsung's upcoming foldable? Are you excited about the potential camera upgrades? Do you think the performance improvements justify the hype? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in the next video. In just a few months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered.
The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.